Live from Rhinelander, this is News Watch 12 Weekends, the Northwoods' best news. With Jake Force, meteorologist Conrad Sapinski, and Drew Chelly with sports. News from where you live starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Jake Force. The United States House of Representatives passed a $98 billion package providing foreign aid for Israel, Ukraine, and the Indo-Pacific region Saturday. One of the bills provides nearly $61 billion to assist Ukraine and others in the regions to fight Russia. Democrats cheered and waved Ukrainian flags at various moments during the vote for that bill. Another bill provided $26 billion in aid for Israel, and a third bill includes $8 billion in funds for the Indo-Pacific region to counter, war to counter China's actions. A fourth bill addressed other House GOP priorities, including sanctions on Iran and a measure that could lead to a ban of TikTok. The legislation will be combined into a single amendment as it moves to the Senate. In a statement, President Biden says the passage of the foreign aid bill sends, quote, a clear message, unquote, about America's leadership to the globe. He also urged the Senate to quickly send the bills to his desk so he can sign it into law. Employees at the Volkswagen plant in Chattanooga, Tennessee, have voted to join the United Auto Workers Organization. The UAW said the overwhelming vote to join the union came in late Friday, with over 70% of employees who voted in favor of gaining union representation. Volkswagen also confirmed the UAW's win, but offered no further comment. This historic decision makes Volkswagen the first foreign-owned automotive plant in the South to unionize. After the UAW previously failed to organize the Volkswagen plant in 2014 and 2019 due to outside political pressure and worker opposition. The successful organizing drive comes just days after six Republican governors of southern states, including Tennessee Governor Bill Lee, released a joint statement opposing the UAW's push to organize in their states. President Biden also released a statement sharing he plans to, quote, continue to stand with American workers and stand against Republicans' effort to weaken workers' voice. Conrad, it looks like it felt like spring had sprung, but today, <laughs> nah, not so much. Not quite there, right? Is it middle of April or are we back to February? Can't I don't tell. know. I don't know, right? It's definitely a cooler day out there today. This see a couple of flurries earlier this morning, some cloud cover, and then, of course, decreasing clouds into the afternoon to evening hours. And now we're going to continue to stay mainly clear into the overnight hours. By tomorrow, get ready. Much warmer temperatures will be back. Not quite there for today. Well below average. Look at this. Upper 30s here in town, right up into Eagle River. Same story right down at the central Wisconsin. Look at Mosinee, only 37 degrees as a high temperature. So definitely well below average temperatures for this time of year. We should be at 55, right? Average lows around 31, and that's pretty much what our high was today. Back into the 30s, of course, no record highs, no record lows anytime soon, but much warmer temperatures will be back by tomorrow, by Monday especially. Look at that, near 60 degrees, and then we're sticking around closer to average the rest of next week. Overnight tonight, though, we're going to be chilly. Back at around 25 degrees with a feels like temperature in the teens. Jake. Thanks, Conrad. The number of high school seniors who have submitted applications for financial aid is down significantly this year. According to the National College Attainment Network, only 37% of high school seniors submitted a free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, through April 12th. That is compared to the 50% of the prior senior class at this same point last year. Students must submit the application in order to be eligible for federal grants and loans, as well as financial aid offered by states and schools. The data also shows there has been a decline in submissions among students at lower income schools and schools with a higher percentage of minority students. While students still have time to submit the application, the typical May 1st college decision deadline is fast approaching. A new version of the free application for federal student aid form was released this year. However, the rollout has been plagued by delays, numerous technical glitches, and administrative mistakes. A Waukesha High School has been facing chronic absenteeism since the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. To help manage the problem, the school has hired a special social worker who says kids got out of the routine of coming to class during the pandemic, and now many are avoiding school due to mental health challenges. Rebecca Klopf has more. 
Jamie Hobson is a regular in the halls of Waukesha South, but she admits that wasn't always the case. I kind of developed a mindset that, like, I can do my work from home. Jamie moved to the district as a freshman during COVID. When everyone returned to class, she didn't feel like she had to go. I could still stay home and still get good grades or still maintain my work enough to pass. Jamie got the notice she was at risk of becoming chronically absent. That's when a student misses 10% or more of the school year, roughly 18 days or more for any reason, even if they're sick. Before the pandemic across the country, one in six children were chronically absent. Today, that number is at 28 percent. In the Waukesha School District, it's at 17 percent. Kids got out of the routine of going to school, of uh, doing their work um, as part of COVID. And now as we're trying to get out of that, we're seeing a lot more mental health related things. We're seeing a lot more anxiety related things. Chronic absenteeism is such an issue at Waukesha South. The district hired Mary Green to help. She found in addition to post-pandemic mental health issues, students are also struggling with a district-wide trauma. You add that in, and when you're talking about safety and security with students being able to come to school, like some of that safety and security was disrupted. From the parade attack? Yes, from the, from the parade, yes. Four students from Waukesha South's band were severely injured in the parade tragedy. Some students not physically injured suffered psychological trauma. We definitely are seeing a lot more students that have anxiety, that have worries, that have reasons why they're not coming to school that don't have to do with necessarily school, but their own mental health. Although Waukesha South's absentee numbers are going down, district officials say students of color are most impacted. Jamie says for her, she struggled to make connections to other students. It was for me a predominantly white school to me. So I, got, I was really nervous. Like I was just more nervous about not making friends, people judging me. I didn't like feel comfortable in my school at first. But finding a place to belong made all the difference. Jamie joined the track team and the Black Student Union, where she later became the president of the club. Even with all her success, she says she still gives herself a pep talk every day. Go to school, get it together, find that one motivating thing that I hope you get through that day. It was Healthy Kids Day at the YMCA of the Northwoods today. We'll have more on that after Weather with Conrad when we come back. We've all seen what's happening at our border. President Biden and Senator Baldwin's open border policy has brought more than 10 million illegal immigrants into our country. That's double the population of Wisconsin. Our country was already struggling to provide housing and health care to our citizens. And tragically, we're losing over 100,000 Americans a year to the drugs that pour over our open border. Their policy is wrong. I'm Eric Hovde. I approve this message, and I'll work to fix this problem. There are trucks, and then there's the GMC Sierra. Available with the connected driving experience. And the world's first six-function multi-pro tailgate. GMC Sierra. It's the truck. Or get 2.9% APR for 72 months on select Sierra 1500 models. Visit your North Central Wisconsin GMC dealer. happen. Say goodbye gush fears thanks to always ultra thins with rapid dry technology that absorbs two times faster. Hello clean and comfortable. Always fear no gush. I love that my daughter still needs me but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as 14 days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. 
And we're back. Happy Saturday. A little chilly one out there today, right? But it's the weekend. How exciting. By tomorrow, much warmer temperatures will be back. For now, though, we're, we're going to stay uh, mainly clear overnight. Same story right now as we continue to see those decreasing clouds into those overnight hours. Now, look at this. Some storms down south. We do have uh, some pretty strong storms in Texas at the moment. And that's going to continue to stay down there. Of course, they're seeing much warmer air tapped into some Gulf moisture for us, though, folks, we're going to be in the clear for a bit. Then Monday night, we're going to see some rain arrive into our area. Same story on Tuesday. We're, throughout the day, we're going to see a little bit of rain. And then cooler temperatures are right behind that. So then a little bit of that rain will be mixing in with some snow on the back end. And then Tuesday night, finally, things will start to calm down and it will clear up by Wednesday. But we're not done with those snowflakes just yet. I know it's middle to almost end of April. But we do live in the Northwoods, of course. Cooler air will be back. 29 degrees out there right now. 31 by Eagle River, so it's getting chilly out there. Our Bravida's at 29 as well. Mid-30s back by Wausau. And same story south into Wapaka. Mix that with a little bit of wind, and just like that, the feels like temperature is back in those low to mid-20s, a couple of 30s in some spots, but overall, though, feels like 24 degrees here in town. It feels like 26 in Eagle River, 28 in Lando Lakes, 27 in Manitowish Waters, so it definitely feels like a winter day out there. Don't worry, folks. Warmer temperatures, spring-like temperatures will be back very soon. Now, the winds are finally starting to calm down. They were put on the breezy end earlier today, gusting around 20, even 25 miles an hour. For now, we're looking at around a 5-mile-per-hour breeze, a couple of spots, a little bit more. But overall, though, that wind has finally calmed down. By tomorrow, though, once again, a little bit more of a breeze. And then look at these winds rolling in by Monday morning into the afternoon hours. Even some gusty winds down closer to Green Bay. Stevens Point area gusting up to 35, possibly even up to 40 miles an hour at times throughout the day on Monday. So get ready. It's definitely going to be once again a windy day by Monday. For tonight, though, folks, light breeze, mainly clear skies and feeling chilly for sure. 25 degrees with that feels like temperature back in the teens. And then for tomorrow, much nicer weather. Let's go, right? How exciting is that? It's Sunday. It's the weekend. Have fun. Mainly sunny skies. We are looking at temperatures closer to average into those low to mid 50s. It's going to stay windy, though. We're looking at that northwest wind gusting up to 25 miles an hour. Our 7 day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress does show even better weather for Monday. By Tuesday, we're looking at that rain, possibly some rain and snow mixing in by those evening to overnight hours. By Wednesday into Thursday, back to lots of sunshine, temperatures in those low to mid 50s. Jake. Thanks, Conrad. Today was Healthy Kids Day at the YMCA of the Northwoods. Newswatch 12's Austin Carisu attended the event to learn more about the impact on the community. And see what we can do to help them make a healthy lifestyle a lifelong journey. Healthy Kids Day at the YMCA of the Northwoods is in its 32nd year. It is a free public event to provide healthy lifestyle resources for families in the community. Making sure that they have resources for if it's health and nutrition or how to stay active. Um, we're actually handing out these fun recipes for what makes a healthy kid and all of us are integrated into it. The day consisted of a variety of activities for kids to enjoy as well as vendor resources and the opportunity to learn more about emergency vehicles and even watch a helicopter land. Pool has the most offering that we've had in a long time. All lifeguards on deck. We've got the pool, the mushroom, and saw programming available to the community. The event saw many community organizations attend the event to teach kids more about the opportunities they offer. Really, the community has come together, <clears throat> vendors, sponsors alike, to make this opportunity as amazing as it is because we all know that without the community, there is no why with our mission, our values. Reporting in Rhinelander, Austin Creasu, Newswatch 12. Febreze. Hi. I use Febreze Fade Defy Plug. And I use this. Febreze has a microchip to control scent release, so it smells first day fresh for 50 days. 50 days? And its refill reminder light means I'll never miss a day of freshness. <laughs> Febreze Plug. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic. Which car and driver calls fun to drive?
there's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. ELM Repair in Edgar is a family-owned and operated full-service diesel repair shop. From pickups to semi-trucks to heavy equipment and RV service. If it runs on diesel, we can repair it. Want more power and better mileage? Our experienced professionals will get your truck running and at peak performance. With a state-of-the-art dyno and fully stocked parts department, we can even come out to you with our 24-hour mobile repair service. ELM is always looking for passionate and talented people to join our team. The Diesel Doctor. Have it done right the first time at ELM Repair. Hi, I'm Todd from the Hearing House, and I'm inviting you to Hearing House Night at the Races, Saturday, June 1st at Marshfield Motor Speedway. In addition to watching great racing, we'll be protecting hearing with sound gear, hearing protection. Factory reps will be on hand with special pricing on both instant fit and custom fit hearing protection. Because if you have a noisy job or hobbies like this hot rod, you need sound gear. Make your house a hearing. Wanted. Listings. It is still a seller's market. If properly priced, you may get multiple offers. Call Bob Coleman with 33 years of expertise selling in the Northwoods. He is an agent you can trust. Earning your business is the goal. Coming up on News Watch 12 today, we'll have another fantastic edition of Race Watch 12. With Kate I always love that segment, right? Let's get into that on Monday, but also temperatures will be warming up a little bit too. Morning, tune in on your Monday from 5 to 7. Welcome back. Protests continue today for Columbia University students in support of Gaza. Students have been protesting after the university asked police on Wednesday to break up a tent encampment students established on its south lawn in support of Gaza. Under Columbia's new policy on demonstrations, students can protest in certain outdoor areas on weekdays from noon to 6 p.m. with prior approval. However, Columbia President Nemat Manoush Shafiq said in a memo to police that the protesters ignored multiple written and verbal warnings to disperse and were trespassing and damaging campus, pro campus property. Protesters say their resolve has strengthened despite mass suspensions and arrests. Friday marked the start of the U.S. Olympic wrestling trials in Pennsylvania, but one Metro Atlanta college wrestler is not there, despite earning the right to try out. Jamila McBride is one of the country's best women's wrestlers, but as Patrick Quinn reports, she says she's being kept off the mats because of her religion. He said if I showed up at weigh-ins in a singlet, I would be allowed to compete, but that's not an option. Jamila is a devout Muslim. Adhering to her faith, she wears a hijab and stays covered while wrestling. Wrestling doesn't change by me wearing it. You can still throw me on my head. You can still pin me. Or you can try. McBride just won the NAIA National Championship in the 143-pound weight class, where she did not give up a single point. She's powerful, she's patient, and once she puts her foot on the gas, nobody can stop her. While opponents may struggle, world wrestling officials can stop her. USA Wrestling told me because Jamila's uniform does not follow the world guidelines, she cannot compete in the U.S. Olympic team trials, even though her national title earned her that right. Jamila said United World Wrestling said her uniform gives her an unfair advantage and poses a safety risk. I took those concerns to one of her teammates who has wrestled against her. Not once was her hijab or her uniform or the loosely fitting pants ever affecting the match. The uniform isn't what helps them win. Their skills and their tenacity and their work is what makes them champions. There's now an online petition to let Jamila wrestle internationally. She told me her fight isn't just about her, but for her two younger sisters, also women's wrestlers, and for the women behind her. She hopes one day her struggle brings more women of all beliefs and backgrounds to the mat. So I think everyone should have the freedom to practice their religion, practice their, their beliefs, and have the freedom to participate in sports and what they love to do. And McBride says she appealed that uniform decision to USA Wrestling. The two sides met Thursday, but she says her appeal was denied. USA Wrestling says for international competitions, United World Wrestling has to make the decision. The Milwaukee Brewers were back in action today, looking to improve to 2-0 against the Cardinals. Coming up on Newswatch 12, Drew Chelly joins us with highlights of this NL Central showdown. 
Mr. Clean Magic Eraser powers through tough messes. So it makes it look like I spent hours cleaning. And you know I didn't. It makes my running shoe look like new. It's amazing. It's so good. It makes it look like I have magical powers. Magic Eraser and sheets make cleaning look easy. Welcome to Leisure City where relieving stress and bringing more fun into your life is what we're all about. You'll notice new faces around, but we're still delivering the same great service we have since 1985. Come see our full lineup of hot tubs in a variety of sizes and styles. We're sure to have that perfect fit for you and your family. Check out our full line of indoor-outdoor patio furniture. That's Leisure City, your backyard headquarters of the North. Don't let a storm keep you in the dark ever again. Contact the experts at Christopher Electric, proudly providing backup power services in the central Wisconsin area. Their team will complete the job from start to finish, no third party necessary, and will fit your home with the perfect Generac standby generator. Generac helps protect your home and family from the risks associated with power outages. So don't miss out on this limited time offer. Christopher Electric and Generac, call for your free home consultation today. Who isn't ready for spring? An up to 50% off list. The spring home sale is almost over and deals are everywhere at Slumberland Furniture. Plus, introducing Flex Deal, committed to comfort and durability that lasts. Spring into a comfy Lazy Boy recliner for just $3.98. These great deals are almost over. Up to 50% off list, including this cool-to-the-touch mattress. Plus, special financing available at our big spring home sale at Slumberland Furniture. But it ends soon. It only takes a second for an everyday item to become dangerous. Tide Pods Child Guard Pack helps keep your laundry packs in a safe place and your child safer. To close, twist until it clicks. Tide Pods Child Guard Packaging. It was a successful start to the Robertson Cup playoffs for the Wisconsin Wendigo as they defeated the Janesville Jets 4-2 in Game 1 of the Divisional Semifinal Round. The Wendigo now have an opportunity to take complete control of the series before they go down to Janesville, hopefully for Game 3 with a 2-0 lead. So were the Jets able to even this series up or were the Wendigo able to make it 2-0? We start in the first period. Jets with the puck in their defensive zone. Nick Sajevic quickly makes the pass up the ice to Hayden Cruz on the break. He races towards the net, but his shot is denied by Wendigo goalie Max Beckford. Later in the period, Wendigo have the puck. They're moving up the ice. Rhett Codsey, bad pass. Let Max Martin get a shot off. The rebound comes out to DiMaggio, who rips off a shot. But the save is made. Game remains scoreless later on. Jets have it on the offensive attack. Shot is blocked. It's going to spring free along the boards. Nick Stevens gets a shot off. Beckford there again. He posted a shutout tonight. Wendigo win it 2-0. They lead the series 2-0. On a chilly Saturday morning, the Three Lakes Blue Jays baseball and softball teams made the long trip down south to Wittenberg to take on the Wittenberg Burnham Wood Chargers. We start on the baseball diamond as the Blue Jays were looking to come in and get a victory on the road. Xander Barkey on the mound for the Chargers here. He's going to pick up a strikeout, throw down to second, not in time, still on base for Three Lakes. Carter Flannery on the mound for Three Lakes here. He picks up a strikeout of his own, but that ball would get away, and the runners would advance, and that would be costly, because later in the inning, Braden Groshek with the base hitting to left center, and both those two runs would score, and that put Whitburn on the board. They weren't done in the inning. Next batter is Hudson Miller. He's going to drive in two runs of his own with the base hit. Whitburn, they win it big. 21-0 over Three Lakes. The two schools are on the softball field as well. Kaya Zeus on the mound for Three Lakes. She picks up the early strikeout. We move to the third inning now. Whitburn at the plate. Rory Salveson looks like she's just going to have a single as she hits this one hard. But on the first error, she's going to make her way over to second base. And a second error is going to have her coming all the way around the bases. A good old-fashioned Little League home run for the Chargers. But the Three Lakes defense was strong today. Here, Zeus going to feel their position very well, quickly off the mound, fields the bunt, and makes the throw to first. Later in the inning, ground ball over to third. Play is made. The Three Lakes defense carried them in this one. They win it 6-2. to two. After a nail-biting 2-1 to one extra inning victory last night, 
The Milwaukee Brewers are back in action, looking to stay in first place in the NL Central. T.L. Hall on the mound for the crew, looking to improve his season record to 3-1. and one. But that would be easier said than done, facing off against a tough Cardinal lineup. So were the Cards able to even the series, or will the Brew Crew take the first two in St. Louis? We jump to the fourth inning, 4-4 game. The rookie up to bat, and he smokes one to deep right field. That one is back, and it is gone. Jackson Churio solo home run. Sixth inning now, runners on the corners for William Contreras. He rips a base hit to right field. That would score a run from third, and it is 6-4 Brewers. Still in the sixth, runners on the corner for Willie Adamas. He drills one down the ref left field line. That would bring in a another run. It's a 7-4 game. Big day for the Brewers' offense. They win it 12-5. We'll be right back after the break. If there's one thing we like, it's choices. Find yours with Ford F-150. Gas, hybrid, or all-electric. Whether it's towing, powering up, or getting from 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds, what you choose to do with that much power is up to you. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. Choose Flex Buy on F-150 and get 1.9% APR financing for 66 months, plus 2,000 Flex Buy cash and 1,000 open bonus cash. It ain't my dad's razor, dad. Hey, watch it. It's from Gillette Labs. This green bar releases trapped hairs from my face. Game changer. Well, the flex this contours to it. So the five blades can get virtually every hair in one stroke for the ultimate Gillette shaving experience. The best a man can get is Gillette Labs. When you need a new roof or repair, remember, quality counts. Hi, I'm Paul, owner of Overhead Solutions. Listen, I've seen some shady roof operations, but I believe in honesty, hard work, and integrity. Our team is committed to providing you with a quality product at a fair price. So go ahead, call our competitors. But before you sign on that dotted line, call Overhead Solutions for a free estimate. For asphalt, metal, rubber, or cedar roofs, call Overhead Solutions for a free roof estimate. Integrated Pain Solutions took my pain away in my shoulder and gave me mobility back. They changed my life from living in pain every day to being pain-free. What I found is the laser really helps the healing part of it. If you're in pain and you're considering an alternative to surgery, you need to come here and you need to check it out. They proved that it could help me and I'm forever grateful for them. Algum Law Firm specializes in estate planning and elder law. You know why to protect your hard-earned assets, and they know how. Algum, Alan Algum, nice to meet you. How do you, Algum? Algum Law Firm, I'd be more than happy to set you up with your complimentary consultation. How do you, Algum? Algum Law Firm can assist you with your asset protection estate planning needs, probate, trust administration, and nursing home Medicaid. Algum Law Firm knows it's important to educate the community. Call us today to learn more. How do you, Algum? Take a trip on an elegant culinary journey with Chef Luke as he coaches Agnes, Jeff, and the audience to create elegant dishes that you can make at home. Join them on Up North at 4, June 3rd. Brought to you by Triggs. Martinis in May is returning. Make a toast Saturday, May 11th at the Whitetail Inn. Live music with Tony Ocean. Tickets available online or at the Chamber office. All right, finally, some decrease in clouds, and we're going to stay mainly clear overnight tonight as a cooler air still sticks around all over the U.S. Besides Florida, they had some near record highs out there yesterday. Today, same story, another warm-looking day, but most of the United States has cooled off with the shots of colder air, and add a little bit of wind to that, and it just feels extra cool. Feels like we're back in those low to mid-20s outside, so please bundle up out there, folks. By tomorrow morning, if you have church or just anything to do, you want to make sure you got your coats on and be bundled up. But much better weather is back Sunday, Monday, a little bit of rain by Tuesday, possibly mixing with some snow on the back end Tuesday evening into Tuesday night, and then 50s back Wednesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and have a great night. Did you know 80% of women are struggling with hair damage, just like I was? Dryness and frizz could be damaged hair that can't retain moisture. New Pantene Miracle Rescue Deep Conditioner with first-of-its-kind Melting Pro-V Pearls. Locks in moisture to repair six months of damage in one wash without weight down. Guaranteed or your money back. For Resilia, healthy-looking hair. 
If you know, you know it's Pantene. Stretch your tax refund by shopping at Home Furniture and Design. We pay your tax. Shop our entire showroom and we'll take care of the tax on your purchase. If you don't have your tax refund yet, ask about special financing. Why wait? Shop for any room in your home. Stretch your tax refund at Home Furniture and Design and we'll pay your tax. Come see us today. Senator Risch, mind if I join you? Senator Rubio, of course, have a seat. Thank you. Guess we better toast to President Trump. That was a big victory tonight, 21 points. Mm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Well, there was never any doubt. I guess Trump owns the Republican Party now. Yeah. I gotta admit, though, sometimes I do not know what my party is doing. I mean, I've been pushing for Ukraine funding for the past six months. It's essential to American security. And Trump just killed it with one phone call. The man doesn't care about this country one iota. Sometimes I think he's downright dangerous. Mm. And, uh, and you just endorsed him, right? Yeah, big time, big time. I mean, he's great. So great. Yeah, he is incredible. Mm -hmm. Now, Trump gave you the name Little Marco. Right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I've never been able to shake it. Uh, mm. People still yelling at me in airports. He kind of made my life hell. Mm. <laughs> and you endorsed him, right? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. That guy's just the best. Oh, the best. <laughs> the best. Right? He's amazing. 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 <laughs> South Carolina in the house. Hey. Uh oh. Well, well, Senator Graham, Senator Scott, get in here. Oh, Join man. us. Get your butts in oh, here. With pleasure. With pleasure. <laughs> Y'all talking about Trump. Mm -hmm. You know we are. Yes, sir. Oh, hey, Tim. Uh, I saw you with Trump on that Laura Ingram town hall last week. Kind of rough, right? You were sitting right there, and he said to the crowd that you've been a much better candidate for him than you ever were for yourself. <laughs> yeah, he's so funny. Oh, he's hilarious. He's funny. Super funny. Super funny. Yeah. Super funny. funny. <laughs> and then a couple weeks ago, he made you stand in front of a crowd and say you hate Nikki Haley. And isn't she the one who appointed you to the Senate? I mean, no, no, come on. He didn't make me say that I hate her. He said you must really hate her, you know. But, but y'all saw what I did, right? Yeah. I stepped right up to the mic and I said, no, I just love you. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You showed him. Very cool. <laughs> Yeah, I do love him, though. He's great. He's great. Oh, oh I love he, him, too. He is so great. I adore the man. 